Right, we're just running through uh, setting up your new design jet. Uh, what you could typically expect from a, a brand new design jet when it's out of the box. Uh, this one is a design jet Z3200. Uh, we've removed it from the box, built the stand, put the design jet on the stand, and put it upright. Um, so now what we need to do is start removing all of the packing tape. As you can see, there's there's quite a bit of it, all the orange stuff. Open up the cover and we'll see inside we've got some more packing bits there that stop the carriage from moving in transit so all of this needs to be removed and if we go around the back of the machine once again more packing straps and little plastic clips there to prevent the spindle from being uh, from dislodging in transit so all of this needs to be removed so I'll do that now So having removed all the packing tape and all the packing bits off the machine and unpackaged all the inks and the print heads ready to install, uh, the front panel now tells us how to proceed, quite friendly, talks us through it, tells us to install the ink cartridges. So that's what we're going to do. So open up the side cover, all the inks are ready, just literally just plug them all in. hear the design jet beeping to say it's accepted the inks. Right. This design jet being a high-end photo printer, it's actually a 12 ink system including the gloss enhancer, so quite a bit to install. and then we just followed the instructions on the front panel which recognised all of those inks so it's asking us just to press OK, OK to continue right, what it's going to do now is check that the ink cartridge is happy with them um, and it's going to prime the tube system it's currently the machine comes shipped with dummy print heads and all that allows is for the tube system to now get filled with ink The noise we can hear, that's the, that's the priming pump, just pumping the ink through. OK, so once it's happy that the uh, tubes are primed, I'll ask you to open the window to access the print heads. OK, so we open that and it's now telling us to remove the setup print heads. So, this is the design jet, release the lever. OK, set up print heads, just little dummy things, don't look that similar to the real ones, but just do the job of priming the tubes. Just pull those out, they then get disposed of, they'll go into the bin. and take your print heads that I've removed off the, from the packaging remove those items they go into the bin and you can see it's the matte black and red print head that I've got on my hand all clearly marked up on the carriage so just insert it and run through the same procedure for all of the print heads. So we install all of the print heads now. Uh, it's got six double print heads in the Design Jet Z3200 and they've all been recognised successfully. The front panel is now telling us to close the print head cover and the window, so relatch the cover. 
to make sure it's picked up this metal bar here and shut the top cover. The design jet will now go and check that it is happy with all those print heads and will then be asking us for some paper or to load some paper so it can align them. Right, so it's taken about 25 minutes for the ink system to finish being prepared, ready to align the print heads, and the front panel is now asking us to load paper to align the print heads, so I'm going to put a roll in there. I've already loaded it onto the spindle. Plug it into place, making sure the paper's coming off in that direction. Uh, the spindle is actually marked up to tell you which way to load a roll. And just feed the paper in. Design Jet will recognise it and start pulling it in. Round to the front panel, and it's going to be asking us what we are actually loading. We're loading a roll, which is what it's set on, so then we'll say OK to that. And what type of media we're actually loading. So select that as well. Any problems with alignment, the front panel will tell you what to do. Um, otherwise, it will just come ready and it will start running its printed alignment. So, the design jet's now finished running its printed alignment and it's produced its alignment page like that. Front panel tells us that it's passed the alignment OK and the printer has now come ready. So, all that's left to do is to set it up onto our network and it's ready for us to print. The DesignJet Z3200 has got a built-in LAN card so we just plugged it into our LAN via an RJ45 lead and if we go around to the front panel it takes a few seconds but well, what it will show is we're serving DHCP here uh, so it shows it's picked up an IP address automatically there so DesignJet's now ready all we need to do is go install the HP software and we'll be ready. So we've finished setting up the software and I've just sent a test print to the design jet. You saw there was an error on the setup there, purely because we had a, a later revision of the software already stall, installed on the, the PC that I was using. Uh, but basically it ignored that and uh, carried on and did a test print just to show you uh, but really just how quick it is to set up this printer. It took about five minutes on the PC end and we're now here and happily printing away. There we have it, a successful Windows XP printer test page. In total, since taking the design jet out of the box, 
Uh, it's taken the best part of an hour to, to build the stand, unpack it, install everything, uh, wait for the ink system to come ready, set it up on the network. Um, but not bad and very simple.